It is Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. It's 11.26 a.m. Central Standard Time. First, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And Lord, God Almighty, our Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Today I'm going to read the last chapter in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 24. <laughs> um, before I start reading, I want to say... To anyone that is watching or listening to this, that Jesus is coming. He could come He could come and get you any minute, meaning you could drop dead any minute. Repent of your sins. Get on your knees and ask for forgiveness. As far as what Bible prophecy goes, I believe what the Bible says about Jesus' is coming. I don't believe that there is going to be any secret um, rapture. I believe that we're all going to know when Jesus is coming. The whole world. I don't believe that we are just going to vanish. I believe that the whole world is going to see Jesus coming. This is what my mother taught me when I was a child. That the whole world will see Jesus coming. Now, I was taught the rapture doctrine, and I believe I believe what the what the Bible says about about being meeting the Lord in the air and all those things. But when you read the when you read the Word of God, and, and it and when Jesus tells us as in the days of Lo as as in the days of Noah and as as in the days of Lot, well, what happened? They weren't, they didn't leave the earth. Noah and his family, the eight of them, they got on the ark. Lot was rescued, Lot was taken out of the city by angels. So, what, what makes us believe that we're any different than that when the Bible says that it's going to be like that? I don't believe that any of us know exactly how it's going to go down. But I know that in the in the next couple of months that things are going to escalate in America and around the world. So everybody needs to repent of their sins. Get filled with the Holy Ghost according to Acts, chapter, Acts 2, 38. Okay. Luke, chapter 24. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came, upon, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. Hallelujah. Woo! When I read that, I got the Holy Ghost all over me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I wish I wish that I could express in words how much I love Jesus. There's the songs. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. He loved me when I didn't even deserve it. Okay. I hope it doesn't take me a long time to get through this, because this is one of the, this is one of the chapters of the Bible that makes me the most emotional. Okay. Verse 3. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And they were afraid, 
and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? <laughs> well, okay, wow. He is not there, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words, and returned from the sepulchre, and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna, and, and Mary the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter, and ran into the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at the time which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from J Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. And they talked together, all of these, and they talked together all of these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And when, and, and, and the one, so, so in other words, they didn't recognize Jesus. Because in their in their carnal minds, you know, the, the notion that Jesus could be walking among them after they saw him die on the cross was far-fetched. Okay. Their eyes were holden. See? Eyes to see and ears to hear. This We need to tune in to the Holy Spirit, to the spirit realm right now, all of us. Okay. So verse 17 again, and he said unto them, what manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? Excuse me. And he said unto them, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have him cru and, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made, made us astonished which were early at the sepulcher. Hmm. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them, which were with us, went to the sepulcher and found it even so as the women had said, but, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? <laughs> that was Jesus speaking. You see the red letters? O oh, fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? So in other words, he's now in his glorified body. Boy, I got the Holy Ghost all over me. Thank you, Jesus. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning them, concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake and gave to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. So look, their eyes were open after he broke bread and gave, and, and, and gave it to them. What does this mean, y'all? 
In my spirit, it tells me that this means something big right here. Lord, Lord, send rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fire fall. Heal us one and all. Fall fresh on me. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. And as they thus spake, spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold, my hands and feet, that it is I, myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed, him, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of a, of a broiled fish and of an honeycomb. Hallelujah. And he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Hallelujah. And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things, and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Hallelujah. You see that? Verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. The, the, our Father in heaven is about to pour out his spirit on those of us who are ready to receive it. I, he's already pouring it on me. It's been a slow pour on me. Because I haven't been strong enough to receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.